Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm good, man. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> and we're live. <laughs> For our next What's, trick. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, what's up, what's up, people? We're going to get it going. Kind of get the music going real quick. So, yeah, yeah so this thing don't uh, jump off here. Oh, good. Uh, well, yeah, we'll just do this. we just start off with that, though. Yeah. Trying hip-hop in the building. Yeah, we're going to ask some folks in here, as usual. Um, we got some things to talk about today. Not, not as lengthy as... Uh, like last week, but just worth mentioning. Uh, just um, bear with us. Hope everybody had a good fourth, good safe fourth. Uh, if you grilled out, if you were the grill master, uh, let me know in the comments below what what you cook. Uh, you know what y'all had on the grill. Like if you had any burgers, any chicken, hot dog, mashed potatoes. Oh, that's wrong stuff. Um, <laughs> some grilled vegetables, man. Shoot. I did these vegetables, boy, on the grill. Yeah, man, that ain't Woo! no joke, bro. Boy, put that squash and put them. That better than the meat. <laughs> cooking, boy. Yeah, man, my favorite is uh, corn on the cob on the grill, man. You hook yes, that sir. up, throw some pepper on that. Man, listen, that's the best right there. Like, have you tried it with uh, lemon? Uh-huh. Yeah, the corn on the cob, yeah. It's, it's, like it's almost, yeah, okay. Okay. it's like it's, you know, it replaced butter. It's really, it's really good. What up, Reg? Yeah, I see Reggie Reg in there. What's up, in man? The building, what up? Woo! <laughs> we appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. What's up, Dominic? I see you on here too. Reg, you gonna have to come in here and make some beats for the show, man. I know, right? Actually, we need to we need to interview uh, Reg, man. Cause like he's been doing this for a while. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can do that one of these days, man. Get Reg on the show and interview him and go from there. Oh, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all just pay that no attention. <laughs> <laughs> So how would you cook it? What what do y'all have, man? Um, we went to a, a family member's house out in Raleigh. Okay. Uh, just drove down there and um, cookout didn't go as planned, but you know we still got to spend some good time with the fam and just hang out, you know, and get some food and uh, came on back. So we just made a day trip out of it, but uh, you know it took about an hour, hour and a half to get there, yeah. so not too bad. And uh, we saw some pretty good fireworks on the way back. Driving down the highway, you could see on both sides of the road they was doing uh, fireworks. But um, they didn't do nothing here. They kind of canceled it here because they were scared of the rain or whatever. So I think they're going to do it here and uh, tonight, you know, downtown. So probably be starting in a little while. But I ain't going to go. You know, I'm, I'm good on that. Hey, we're doing good. Uh, it'd be all right. This is all. Good, right there. What up, Whitney? Yeah, what up, Whitney? What up, what up, what up? But, uh, anywho, let's go ahead and get this going. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this going, man. So, we every, we talked about Nas' album, you know, on here, the, um, the Kanye West. Uh, he also has another album that uh, Curtis told me about 
The share with this Curtis. Yeah, it's, um, so Nas made an album with uh, Swiss Beats. You know, just a whole album between those two. Swiss. And, uh, <laughs> hey, he does some good work with Swiss Beats. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember that song, The General. Uh, I'm the motherfucking general. The beats of that joint was off the hook, man. So, you know, if, if that's any indication, it's going to be a good album. But supposedly he made it like two years ago, and they just never released it. But according to Swiss Beats, it's off the hook. And he said they made it in a week. He said they were just in the studio like 24 hours a day. And Swiss Beats said he got it all on film. He um, videoed it. So the whole process, and he just talked about how Nas was just amazing to work with and, you know, how the album is just crazy. So I'm anxious to hear that, man, because Nas is still doing that thing, man. You know what I mean? For him to be such a legend in this game and still be able to make noteworthy albums, you know what I mean? Because a lot of um, people, the longer they've been in the game, their albums just ain't what they used to be. And it seems like he gets better and better with time. So I got to give it to him, man. Nas is still doing that thing. So we might be hearing something about that album pretty soon. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, Nas actually... Not well. He hasn't become a billionaire, but he got some money off his Amazon. Yeah, boy. Amazon hooked him up. He got a, yeah. But yeah, he got um. Basically, he had a what was it? A pharmaceutical thing. Yeah. That there too? Yeah, pharmaceutical company called uh, Pill Pack. Mm -hmm. And I guess he had own a percentage of it and the company now got bought out by Amazon and uh so you know he getting a cut of that and they bought the company for like a billion that's a billion with a B B son Just, mm -hmm. ah <laughs> <laughs> man listen <laughs> let me get a billion dollars <laughs> you ain't even gonna see me no more hell when I get a thousand dollars people don't not about me no about to say <laughs> shoot man <laughs> Give me ten grand. I'll be right. like, look, mama, you ain't got work no more. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, living it up for like five days, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, man. But yeah, so you know, that's a good deal for him because uh that's the second deal that he got with Amazon. He had another company, same situation where he invested in the company and had a owned a percentage of it. Uh, a few years back, and Amazon bought them as well, and so Nas made a good deal off that. He got like forty million off that first deal, so forty million ain't nothing to sneeze at, you know what I mean? So I imagine what he getting off this one. So he definitely a smart um, investor. So I'm glad to see somebody like him getting the money that he deserves. You know what I mean? That's a thing, man. <laughs> how, I mean, I have to. I would like to just go up there and try to figure out like. You know, ask him like, "Hey, man, like, what be a good brand to invest in?" Right. Like, you know, yeah, what I'm saying? He, like, he probably know. <laughs> like my my dumb ass, which I mean, I probably still would do it. Like, I'll probably vote invest in like Nintendo. Yeah. I mean, especially like when you know, a couple of the games and stuff be coming up. But that's because I like video games and stuff. But yeah. like, as far as like, you know, well, this is gonna be the future. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know. I was, I'm not telling you what, I'm not a financial advisor, as you can tell, but, uh, I mean, I, I think investing in Nintendo would be kind of smart because, you know, it's always here, but at the same time, it's like, you can't, you know, sometimes it'll bite plumbing, you know, but we'll see what happens with that, yeah. anyway. Hey, man, that's, so, I'm just happy for the brother, though, man, he's yeah. making some money, and, you know, a lot of rappers are getting smart, you know, well, a lot of the older rappers are getting smart. I don't know about these younger rappers, but a lot of the older ones are smart, man. I mean, think back to a few years ago when um, Dr. Dre sold beats for three billion. Who was it that bought it from him? Uh, that was Apple, wasn't was it? Was it Apple? Somebody bought it from him. But Still. Three billion? Oh, my God. I mean, he could literally fill a swimming pool with money. You know what I mean? So that, that, that was like the greatest thing for me, man, just to see somebody from where he came from to make such a big deal like that, you know what I mean? Not three million, three billion over some music technology, you know what I mean? So 
That's what's up. I don't man. think he got off. I don't think he got off his building with that, did he? No, I don't. Know. I think it's just. I think it was just a uh, percentage. I mean, that's. The, I mean, come on, though. Yeah, uh, three mean, billion. Yeah, he yeah, probably he got. Probably, I think he got the majority of it because he he did partner up on beats with somebody. Yeah, I, I think it was, was. I thought it was Apple. Was it Apple? I don't know. I but, thought it was. But, uh, it could be. Uh, I just know, you know. But he made a killing off that. You know what I mean? Even if you make just one billion off of that, you know what I mean? A billion dollars is a lot. You know what I mean? So that dude, he got more money than he can think to do with. So uh, yeah. But I know what he can do with <laughs> Give him this damn podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Invest in our podcast. Bro, we, we the future, you. son. We need you, son. We the future. Yeah, man. We, we <laughs> go, yo, we like cockroaches. Never yeah. die. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't so going nowhere. We going to persuade you. We going to fly you in here to North Carolina via a uh, tricycle. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll have a tricycle come pick you up. And you can uh, come visit the studio Yo, here in the kitchen. In the kitchen. <laughs> I mean, that's what we call it. <laughs> that's what we call it. We cooking it I up. I mean, we, we don't be baking shit tonight. <laughs> we just, you know, that's where we at. Yeah, man. So, we, we need you, Dr. Dre. You got enough money to, to, to buy us. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you, can buy, you can buy a whole person. Damn. What Steve Harvey said, Michael Jackson had giraffe money. <laughs> giraffe money. Yeah, man. We got giraffe, giraffe, giraffe money. money. He said, you got to have a lot of money to have giraffe money. You don't even know who to call for a giraffe. <laughs> hey, y'all bring them giraffes up in there. Right. Put, them, put, them the, put them by the pool right there. <laughs> yeah, oh, Dom. Yep, Nas made a deal with Amazon. He sure did. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so that's going to be awesome for him, man. But yeah, man. It's, um, you know, some good stuff going down. But I'm hoping to hear that new um, Nas album with Swiss Beats. Cause Swiss, Swiss Beats Swiss. ain't no, he ain't nobody to play with when it comes to production. Yeah, I mean, Swiss has some good beats. I, only thing I will say though is like, especially some of his pop stuff, mm -hmm. popular stuff, I mean, like, yeah. some of it sound the same. Like, da, 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 da. It, it, both, most of them sound the same. Yeah. But I mean, I'm pretty sure that by now, you know, he's got a little. You know, better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. that's true. I mean, he's, uh, I mean, he's kind of like. Timbaland. Timbaland was like a lot like that too. A lot of his stuff was very similar, but I think it was just his way of saying you can tell this is a Timbaland beat because yeah. it has the same kind of you know signature on it. You know what I mean? So I think Swiss Beats is kind of like that, but yeah, I like Timbaland a little better. I ain't gonna lie to you. We got you know what? One day we gotta we gotta do a thing like you know like we doing the best of series. We gotta go like who's the best like producer. Yeah. You know what we should have talked about today? This DJ Clue, I mean, uh, DJ Kid, Kid Capri oh, and Funk yeah, Master Flex. Yo, you see the battle on IG that yeah. my man Kid Capri did? Yeah, man. Yo. Kid Capri ain't playing with y'all. Dude, Dude, my Dude. man. He was here before Funk Flex, and so he gonna be here after. Yo, my man. He's like, yo, I ain't gonna even battle with this new shit. Let <laughs> me hit you with these break beats. Right. But, yo, he was. But it's like you can tell, like they would use some other rap songs, you know, they would use some rap songs, but it's like, dang, yo. Yeah. I was, I was like clean the kitchen and whatnot. I was like, damn, you know, I was gonna look at it. I was gonna, like, I'm gonna look at it, see what he got to say. But when right. he started playing that shit, that's how I felt like, ah, ah, like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Flux, I think Flex is, um, he's actually responded since then. Oh, but okay. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, I haven't really got a chance. I ain't had a chance to really look at it. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, so, and also, we have a leak. Wow. <laughs> we, have a, we have a leak. Well, well, a leak that we got to talk about. Uh, Basically, what you say, Kai, the song of Adidon. Yeah, the story of Adidon, I don't know if y'all heard about it, but all week they've been um, talking about how basically a guy who works behind the scenes with um, Drake called T-Minus has basically put it out there that March 14th, the song on Drake's album, is not necessarily a response to uh, Adidon because it was actually made way, way before Adidon was made. And he's saying that he thinks that the song might have been called March 14th because it was made way back on March 14th. 
and he said that Drake is actually known uh, for doing that. He'll title his songs based on when they were made. So he th he think that's where it came from. So if that is the case, you know, um, that Adidon may have been more of a response to that than, than the other way around. And supposedly, they're thinking that the way that Pusha T might have heard the song, that it might have got leaked through Kanye. And Kanye might have gave it to Pusha T saying, hey, here's a song that Drake is working on. And he mentions having a kid. And so you can kind of put that out there before he gets a chance to put it out there. So that's the rumor going around is that um, Kanye, Leaked that song to Pusha T just to get Pusha T to to kind of do the story of Adidon and and and, and kind of put Drake in his place, and, you know, which it kind of did. But um, I ain't gonna lie, I was hoping for a response by Drake, a better actual, you know, battle record. You know what I mean? I actually wanted to see a full fledged battle, and it was heading there, but you know, who the dude stepped in, Jay Prince. Jay Prince. Yeah. So you know, man, that that was kind of whack to me, man. Yeah, I mean, cause really, and, and honestly, even this this battle has actually got the rumor saying that it's been manufactured and all that stuff. Um, you know, that actually like, you know, all parties involved, Drake, Pusha T, uh, Kanye, and Jay Z. If you want to go ahead and put him in there, I mean, they still gonna get money off right. this. Um, you know, but the thing of it is, it just it'd be kind of exciting to see a good battle. Because, you know, most battles nowadays, it's not really, it ain't really exciting. You know? Everything is all everything is all about money. Yep. Everything is about, like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is about money. There's, there's no skill or anything involved. You know, that's one thing I have to say about going back to the Kid Capri Funkmaster Flex thing. At least, you know, Capri stepped up like, look, I'm going to show you the skills. Right. And I respect that, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we're at an age like, you know, it don't really matter. It's all about who makes the salary cap, which is kind of pathetic. Yeah, you know it really what I'm is, man. You know, there's a lot of rappers from back in the day who are, you know, could be considered Michael Jordans of rap. And they didn't make a whole lot of money because they weren't willing to compromise themselves. You know what I mean? They were, you know, telling people, you know, I'm, this is what I want to do. I want to do real hip hop, and so I don't care if I don't sell a whole lot. You know what I mean? Like uh, you've got your Pharrell March, people yeah. like that. You know, so nowadays everybody's all about. I need to do what's gonna make me some money. What's gonna make me rich? So if I gotta do something catchy and sound like the last guy, and as long as it replicates that, I don't care because I want to make my money. And this is why me and Curtis are going to surprise make a trap album. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna make a trap album. And we're going to, it's going to be like uh, Howard and Curtis, the <laughs> hip hop podcast, the try the triad trap. And all we're going to do is we're going to play the keyboard and say the one same damn note and beat. Yeah, yeah. That's all we're going to do. Yeah, you just gonna hear me in the background just yeah, you know, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> 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 two seconds, you know, it's gonna be called the North Carolina Drug Cartel album. Yeah. You know what I mean? We gonna do it for y'all. Yeah, man. And we're gonna make a lot of money. Yeah, man. All you we know. do is sell powdered sugar. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, speak speaking of, we um actually you know, shout out to my girlfriend Brittany. Uh, what up, Brittany? We had a conversation. Actually, she was... There were two things. She let me listen to the Drake Scorpion album. Like I said, that's the only time I'm probably going to be caught uh, listening <laughs> listen and reviewing the Drake album. No, no offense to you, Drake. I just, you know, yeah. for the ladies. But anywho... Um, there it is right there. That's but, a um, classic right there. We were listening to this song. It's like a trap song, right? Uh -huh. Supposedly a trap song, and um, trapped in a closet. Well, not that, not, 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 not that type of trap. Well, yeah, my look. But basically, the kid, basically this guy, I don't know who the artist is. I forgot. But what I was listening to, the lyrics and the stuff he was talking about, it's like, yeah, I'm popping pills and Xanax, and mm. you know, basically, I'm better off. I'm better off dead and all this stuff. 
And I got to thinking, and the way the song progressed, like he's like he's not really rapping. Mm. It's more like he's singing. Mm. And then I said, you know what? If this was in the '90s, this would have guitar uh, chords to it. Right. This would been this would been like an emo song. Yeah. And basically, Brit, you know, Brittany said, "Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you, tell people." Like, I said, I just let she just let me listen to the song and not let me say anything. Yeah. You know, without her telling me anything. Yeah. I forgot who the artist was. Yeah. yeah. Said, but basically, it said trap is pretty much the new like emo. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It just, you know, and it's kind of funny because those those kids that are living the trap now, yeah, they would. I mean, of course, emo was a little bit, you know, before their. I ain't gonna say before their time, but it was there. But they wouldn't listen to emo, right? You know what I'm saying? But they listen to the trap. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's pretty exactly. much the same thing. Man. Yeah, it really is, man. Right. And then got clever, but yeah. they made people look like you. And thinking that, hey, this is where it's at. Right. No, I think. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, no disrespect to the trap. And no disrespect to Emo, neither. I mean, that's y'all, you know, you have markets and stuff that you got to get out to. I understand that, you know. I, I, you know, I understand that you got a follow. Yeah. But, you know, it's just kind of funny how, you know, saying, like, things come back around. Right. And it ain't really, you know, you think, oh, this is brand new. Like, ah, oh, they've really been doing this. It's just, they yeah. put a different spin they on it. They put a different spin on it. Yeah, I mean, you know, so you learn how to capitalize off it a little bit more. That's all. So, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, people don't get it, man. People just don't get it. So let's talk about the Drake album. The Scorpion. Scorpion. Uh... Get over here! No, just I'm, <laughs> not that Scorpion. <laughs> If he really wanted to, he could have done a, dri- a diss track to where Pusha T called the Scorpion. He could have had that whole sample. Get over here. Yo, that would have been hard. That would have been hot, man. <laughs> See, and, you, and see, that's why get, when I was rapping, get, I knew how to calculate get, stuff like get, that, man. Get over here. I'm telling you, man. Get over here. Exactly. I'll get over here. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> but he he could have done something, you know what I mean? That could have been the title track, you know, for the album. So. Drake, we just, we just gave you some ideas. So, uh, you know, send the bill. Send yeah, the send the bill. Whatever you call it. Fax that to us. In- invoice that to us. You know, invoice. We just, we just, we just gave you 20. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anywho, uh, I, I listened to the album. I don't really remember all the songs on there. I mean, we kind of skipped over the popular songs, of course. We kind of listened to, you know, some of the album. Um, It is, to me, it's a, to me, it's okay. Because honestly, now, while the way I'm getting at this, you know, they're going to be... Actually, they said that Drake fans didn't even like this because this was more him rapping instead of singing. Mm. But, um, you know, as far as me listening to it and listening to, like, you know, with the ear that I have... Yeah. Not saying that my ear is special. I'm just saying I just listen, you know, I'm critiquing this off, you know, the old, old stuff in a sense. Yeah. Which ain't... But it's it's okay. It's it's an all right album. Um, I do think March fourteenth is like the best song on my album. I do. I did like the idea of Drake being vulnerable and actually like explaining, you know, him having a kid. I thought that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Really, that's the only thing. Oh, well, they did. Which I did listen to that before. He did the song with. Uh, Michael Jackson, so to speak. Mm. But the thing of it is, like, it's Mike's voice, but I think someone else is actually saying what Michael was saying. Okay. Because okay. if you listen to the way his voice is, like, you know, going up and down, and the influctuation of the voice, mm. I think that was that uh, word, fluctuation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that was. Um, so, like, it sounds like it's somebody else saying mm. something. But um, it's... It's it's like I said, it's not a bad album. I mean, I do respect him rapping. I think something it kind of gets repetitive to me. Um, some, but it, it it's not like the whole album. I could, I could give it. I could give him this. It ain't like a whole club album. Like you know, sometimes you gotta sit down and listen to it. Right. You know, and I kind of I can kind of respect that. Um, but as far as like. 
you know, because you had when we had stuff like that, you had stuff you could sit down and listen to. But you had stuff, you know, like the head, and, uh, you know, you jam and then get, you know, we had that balance. It's just kind of hard to really find that balance anymore. But mm-hmm. I mean, you know, but I don't know. I mean, if I, you know, if we were doing this like four out of five thermals, we do. Maybe 2.5. <laughs> 2.5 thermals for you, Drake. 2.5 thermals, son. Yeah, man. At the hip hop try the try hip hop pop. That's how we rate our albums, yo. By the, by the thermal. Yeah, by man. By the thermos. Nine gets five thermals. You get five thermals. There you go. Five thermals. And then you get one of these, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jay Z dropped that album. <laughs> Jay Z dropped the, yeah. the, the, the little uh, the little uh, sneak thermal. Yeah, <laughs> he's like a thermal in there. <laughs> yo, yo, yeah. I'm sorry, yo. When Fifty did that shit, that shit was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Like, Fifty do some grimy stuff, but Fifty a funny motherfucker. Yeah, he is, man. <laughs> For real. Um, if y'all don't know, we talking about Fifty Cent. Basically, was um talking to who was it? Um, DJ. Uh, yo, who kid? Who kid? Yeah, and uh, he was just kind of joking about the Nas album and how. Jay Z dropped an album the same weekend uh, to kind of overshadow Nas's album, you know, almost like Jay Z did it on purpose, kind of like a chess move, you know what I mean? So, exactly. and uh, we just thought it was funny because I mean, I mean, it does seem like he kind of did it on purpose, but I don't know. I can't really say for sure. Me trying you to know? do my best tricky uh, impression. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Like, Bert, you coming up with a? You coming up with a? This side, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's no. still he's still slapping him in the face, man. <laughs> Y'all call me a grimy motherfucker, man. But man, he up Jay's up there doing shit and making sure no one ain't watching it. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie, I hadn't even thought about it until he said that though. I ain't even really thought about it, but yeah. He, he really did kind of pull a sneak move right there. Right. <laughs> oh man. So uh, I guess since we go ahead and talk about it, man, um, 50 is in some type of trouble with uh, the network, you know, the oh, show yeah. power. I mean, we might as well talk about it a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah, let's definitely talk about that. Um, so, if y'all haven't heard, but basically, actor uh, Terry Crews was on Instagram talking about his whole experience with uh, sexual assault in Hollywood and, um, you know, the whole, kind of the whole Me Too movement. And so... Um, Terry, I mean, uh, 50 Cent kind of mocked him about it. You know, he went up and put up a post of Terry Crews and without no shirt on, talking about, I just got raped and my wife watched. And so, you know, it was kind of in bad taste. It was, you know, I'm sure it's funny to some people, but it was kind of in bad taste. So a lot of uh, 50s fans, especially of the show Power, are protesting the show and saying that, you know, so the company, uh, who, who does Power Stars? Stars yeah. yeah, saying that they need to get rid of the show now because of what 50 did. So, you know, honestly, that's always been how 50 has been. So you can't really expect anything less. I don't think it's like to do. I think he was wrong for it, but he did it. You know what I mean? And uh, he so he supposedly took the, the post down, but uh, people still are mad. I think they got a, a petition going around so far. They got like 33,000 signatures. So they really mad about that. What you think about it? Man, I mean, much, I mean, 50 does some grimy stuff, man. I mean, but that's his character, too. Yeah. Um, at the same time, it's like, damn, man, why are y'all getting rid of a good show? I mean, which I ain't really seen that much, but why are y'all getting rid of a good show? I'm like, like damn, man, you got, what y'all going to run back to Empire? I right. mean, you right. get, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what trips me out about that. Like he's actually, I have to give it to Fifty. A lot of people, you know, saying that that show is better than Empire. He's actually giving you a good a good show to really watch. Yeah. And with the hashtag Me Too movement, don't get me wrong, I'm not against. I'm definitely not. You know, I'm against people getting raped and mistreated and you know abused and stuff like that. Yeah. You know. But I think this hashtag Me Too thing is actually, you know, a come up for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you, I got raped. Oh, you got raped. Oh, Me Too. Right. And then, like, it's like, oh, I'm going to get that bread and right. sabotage people. Exactly. And, you know, f- those, some of those people have really worked hard, you know what I'm saying, to get to where they're at. And then it's going to, I mean, I'm not saying that 
they shouldn't, you know, people shouldn't be paid out for what they've done, you know, for if you actually rape somebody. I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but, you know, a lot of people, a lot, especially women, are using this, you know, to make a quick couple of yeah. I mean, you have to call it what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it just real. But, um, That's very true. And, you know, and it's kind of like what Lord Jamal said, too, um, going back to the Terry Crews situation. And it's really... And you have to commend him for stepping out like that because you know it's a lot more men behind the scenes right. that has got molested than it is than, you know than probably is women because women will come out and say it yeah but you know a man another right. man touching and groping you yeah. another man ain't gonna really say nothing about that because then now you know it's more that's my sexuality and stuff that I'm throwing coming in coming in question, coming in question now. Yeah. You know, yeah, it is hard because you know, when men you you're supposed to live up to a certain standard, but you know, it's one of those things, man. You know, now more than ever, it's time to be honest. You know, I guess and just put it out there. You know, so it is what it is. But yeah, so I mean, I think um, Fifty, even though I know that's his character, I think you still have to be careful because he's making more executive moves by getting shows like Power. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? He's getting more endorsements and stuff like that. So you can't just say what you want when you're at that status. That's why Jay-Z don't do stuff like that. He don't be all on Instagram and Twitter making little funny posts. Um, look what happened to um, Gilbert Godfrey. No, oh, yeah. Gilbert Godfrey, he was the guy code um, um, duck or whatever. And um, because he made some uh, inappropriate I mean, Affleck jokes. Aflax, yeah. yeah. It was like guy code. Guy code. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, though. So, yeah, he, he made some jokes that were inappropriate, and they immediately took him off. You know Damn, what I mean? they took out the Yeah, he ain't done. That was like, what, five, six years ago? Dang, for real, yo. Yeah. So, they, they've been having somebody else do the, um, the duck sound for Affleck. Dang, yo. Fact, Shout out to um, Gilbert, Gra what, Gilbert Graffin. Yeah, I'm a man that played the, the bird, Liago. <laughs> the lad is son. Yeah, man. Shout out, son. Yo. Yeah, he got a voice that you can recognize instantaneously. Yo. You know what I mean? So he, yeah, they even, um, even after they fired him, they made it like a contest. Like, who's going to be the next voice of Affleck on the commercial? I'm surprised you ain't see that, man. Damn, I did not. That was nah, a few years ago. I did not know that. Yeah, he, he, but he's always, he's kind of like 50, though. He's always been known for kind of no filter jokes. You know, he's a stand up comedian. Yep. And so he's always been that way. So he thought it's okay if I just throw a little joke out there that may be a little insensitive. But the company, um, Affleck, got a hold of him and was like, nope, you're fired. Damn. So Yo, girlfriend, you know, come down with us and make this trap out of us. <laughs> Drake, you need to give us money. Look, right. we're going to have a. I, Drake, you need to get that score. Exactly. Motherfucker, get over here! Yeah, man. Up in your joints! Affleck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Affleck! <laughs> <laughs> get over here! We can all do the album. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, but it's, it's, that's why I say 50, man, you can't just be doing whatever you want to do. You're making it to a status where your, your word means a lot more to people yeah, now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. You can't, just like Donald Trump, you can't be the president and keep making insensitive remarks on Twitter and stuff like that. I mean, I get it. People feel like you're being real, but it's just wrong. When you get to a certain level, that's pillow talk that needs to be kept behind doors. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, to me, anyway. You know what I mean? I'm going to say that's for me. Yeah. When you get, yeah, <coughs> I, I'm going to have to say that, too. Even, I one thing I had to respect, like, Obama for, like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't really, he didn't really get out of the line. Well, to my knowledge. To my knowledge. Out of line with the uh, Twitter and all that stuff. They even told him, like, oh, you got to, you got to give up your Blackberry. Mm -hmm. I'm back with Blackberry. <laughs> you see how far we right. came. Exactly. You know? Don't know if I even remember Blackberry. Black who? <laughs> It was like one of the best phones, like top two at one time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Man. But so. yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, and, you know, when Donald, when he became president, man, it was like, man, yeah, he going to have to give up that Twitter, you know, because like now he's, you know, taking care of the, you know what I'm saying? He looking over the whole, uh, you know, the country. Nah. That mug more savage. Yeah, he don't even like, care. Yeah, he don't even care. care. But that's what makes a lot of people lose respect for him, you know what I mean? Because people want you to act presidential. They don't, they don't want you to act childish and be sending 
evil tweets about North Korea. You see what North Korea just did? Oh, you day? see, you see what the man did? No. He gave Kim Jong un a copy of Elton John's Rocket Man. For real. I'm the ass on Twitter, yo. Wow. Like, <laughs> I'm like, this nigga here. <laughs> I mean, it's like, he, don't, he, doesn't, he doesn't act presidential. No. Man. You know what I mean? Give me the Rocket Man. <laughs> Kim Jong Un, you need to do a trap albums. <laughs> Yo, Gilford Godfrey, Drake, you need to Drake, you need to come down there on that tricycle. I'm telling you, man. Yo, don't so much. Yo, look, we got an idea. We just need people to fund it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're gonna send the tricycle to pick y'all up, man. Yeah. Bring y'all back. With a radio fly, man. Exactly. Cook to the back of it. <laughs> it's gonna be tricked out. A little tricked yeah. out tricycle. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, man, yeah. so, you know, it's one of those things, man, you know, it's certain things need to be carried out a certain way, so I don't know if 50 will lose the whole show or anything, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens because what he did was kind of out of taste because Me Too is really um, a big thing now, you know, people are really are just embracing the whole Me Too thing because they want people to be honest and tell their story. So, you know, it's really important to a lot of people. So, uh, it, it could go either way. He might actually lose the show or, you know, the, the network might say, well, you know, we'll let it go since he deleted the post because he supposedly got rid of it, I guess, after people started complaining. Well, so I thought the buzzer in it, I mean, this is what I would do if I was star. I guess what I would do is I'll get it to where like he still got creative control behind the scene but kill his time out. But kill his character kill his character. Yeah. That's on the show too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill his character. I've seen uh, I saw the first season and that was it. Um I think I saw maybe one episode from the second season and I stopped watching. But um I can I can go back and watch it because I think they're up to like season five or six, something like that. Yeah, I, I need to watch it too, man. Cause so, like I said, still, this is actually it's Yeah, actually it was honestly good. a good show. I have to admit, it was a good show. It's just there's been so many shows coming out. I was like after a while, I was like, I can't keep up yeah, with yeah, the show. Everybody be coming at me, man. You need to watch Power. Man, you need to watch this. You need you to watch Game of Thrones. Right, I'm like, look, 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 I watch my DC shows. Right. And I watch yeah, I watch my little comic shows, yeah. and then I watch my anime, yeah. and that ain't really too much of that. And then I watch YouTube, and that that's about that's all you can do. Yeah, that's about it. It's too many. Yeah, I ain't got open. time. Like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this, and then I'm gonna watch this, and then I'm gonna watch this, right. and then watch this. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's some shows I'll catch and binge, yeah. binge but it's like, I, dude, who have all time exactly. to do all that? I mean, I'm off on the weekends, but it's still, I got stuff to do, man. I can't just binge watch certain shows. I tried it with Game of Thrones, and it was just like, okay, this is all right, but well, I, I, mean, I really didn't care for it that much. You know what I mean? It was like, I think a lot of people got jumped on Game of Thrones because it had a lot of nudity and sex and stuff, and you know, that kind of any any time <laughs> any time it's something with sex, you know, people are always gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm right here, son. Yeah. But, yeah you, know, you see the key? You see the key? <laughs> Yeah, you seen that king bust a nut all up in her sister's pussy like that in the right. Game of Thrones? <laughs> I'll watch it next season. <laughs> so, you know, I, you know, it was just like, all right, yeah, I get it, but maybe another time. Yeah. So, I, you know, I thought Power was a little bit better than Game of Thrones because that was more up my lane because it took me back to my New York days. So I will say um, I did like Power a little bit better, but um, I may go back and watch Power sooner or later. Cause I know they just now starting a new season, but it's not a rush for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just whenever, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I do it like maybe one snow day or something. Like you know what? There's snow on the ground. Yeah. Ain't nothing to do. We can't get it moved. You know that one inch of snow in North Carolina. Yeah. Shut shit down. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna watch power. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sun up to sundown. Yeah. It's gonna be so power. Yeah, it's gonna do so, that. But um, that's you know. That's, that's one of those things, man. We're going to have to see how this plays out. And, of course, we'll give you all the updates on the Power of 50 Cent situation as soon as we get those updates ourselves. Um, we, what else we got on the agenda today? Anything? I think that's it, man. That's uh, everybody, man. man, I know everybody's probably like, um, you know, post-July 4th wasted. So right. Everybody, man, I, I hope everybody had a safe 4th. 
Late uh, late birthday shout out to Sway from Sway in the Morning. Sway, in, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. man. So he definitely one of the pioneers. That, you know, that's why we do what we do. One of the reasons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday to Sway, man. Yeah, definitely. man. Definitely. I didn't know that. You know what? One other thing I just realized, I just saw yesterday. I didn't even realize this. Um, I don't, unless we, and if, if we talked about it, and maybe I forgot it, but a month ago in June, DJ Premier lost his father. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I did. We talked about it. I don't think we brought it up on the show. Yeah, we, we might have quickly uh, talked about it um, behind closed doors, but yeah. So, um, apparently he was born, Premier was born in Houston. I didn't even know. I read the story yesterday. I just happened to see a video about it on YouTube, but yeah. He lost his father last month, um, around around the fourth or fifth of June, something like that, and um, you know, so he had to cancel his tour dates with um, uh, Royce the Five Nine. They right now they just released a second Prime album. Oh, yeah, and that that joint go hard. I ain't gonna lie, it got released like a month or two ago. Hmm. So I didn't find out until afterwards about that, but yeah, so he got some. Um, Good songs on there. He released two albums. He, he did the Prime album, part two, and then he did one called The Book of Ryan uh, by itself without premiere. And they're both pretty good albums. So, y'all need to go check those out. But yeah, you know, rest in peace to, to your father, Premier. Um, sorry to hear that, man. I know that was hard because they were right in the middle of their tour, and Premier was like, I, I can't do it. You know, I got to go yeah, deal with some family fan, stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. It happens, you know what I mean? So, we uh, we just went through a death in the family myself, me and my wife, so it's one of those things you can't really uh, help it, but, you know, I was really sad to hear that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Said he had a pretty good relationship with his father, too, so. But I didn't know uh, Primo was from Texas, so. Yeah. I never knew that. I always thought he was from the New York area since him and uh, Guru came up out of New York. He probably was there. I'm thinking he, he had to been there a little bit longer than um, Guru did. Yeah. Was. He had to be. Because, like, you know, Guru came, you know, he was trying to be a Boston rapper. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, then he had to go and, you know, become a Brooklyn rapper. Yeah. And that's what a lot of the cats did from Boston. Like, they would come up from, they go to Boston, come from Boston and go to Brooklyn. Yeah. So they could get their shine. Yeah. And, you know, Benzino, Guru, Benzino's one of the Boston rappers. Right. Yeah, he, he, he was on the ball, yeah. boy. <laughs> Eminem lit his ass up. Yeah, man. With <laughs> the nail in the coffin. Yo, that was yeah, like one. Was that's good. one. Yo, that white boy, he did that shit right there. Mm-hmm. Boy, that, that mug, man, I'm telling you, man. He, I'm not like a heavy, heavy Eminem fan. I like him. I mean, I don't. I'm not going to necessarily say he's overrated. But I don't think he's like the greatest he ever done it neither. Yeah. But if you do that now in the coffin, boy, man, God, man. boy, man. I mean, whoo, boy, he put it on him with yeah. that, man. Because I mean, I remember when it happened. When it first happened, this was like the early 2000s, and um, Eminem said that he had heard about Benzino doing a diss record against him, and he decided to leave it alone. You know, he wasn't gonna respond because he was like, "This dude ain't nobody." You know, what I mean, he really ain't nobody. But then Benzino did a second disc. He was like, okay, he done done two songs against me. I got to respond now. Well, the thing of it is, too, like, he was also, uh, Benzino was actually, like, the writer of the source of one time. Yeah, he, I um, think that he was, was really. A, he was the co-owner of it, um, him and uh, <clears throat> Dave, Dave Mays. So they were they were the two executive uh, owners of the uh, Source magazine, but he's not anymore. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Benzino, either he got voted out or he quit, but I think he got voted out. Because it was one of those where they got a, like a board member thing. And so, mm-hmm. you know, they can actually vote you out if they want to. And yeah. I think it got to that point where they kind of just voted them out. So, I mean, it sucks to be you. But he, I will say this. He eventually did apologize to Eminem. Uh, not, not face-to-face, but I don't know if any of y'all caught it. But there was an interview he did one time a few years ago. And they was like, is there anything that you would like to say that you regretted or that you would change from your past? And he was like, yeah. I would love to apologize to Eminem and, you know, put this whole thing behind us, you know what I mean? So, I thought that was big of him to do that because he rolled Eminem for a while, even though he knew lyrically he couldn't really nah, handle he could, him. Nah, he couldn't handle him. He was, he was trying to go after Eminem. 
for them on principle. You know, he's white and, you know, he ain't got no respect for culture and he's racist and he did this. Remember he bought out the Yeah, with him tape. using the N-word. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, it was kind of um, upsetting to hear it, but he human, you know what I mean? People do it, you know, People make mistakes, man. So yeah, I know. mean, I think when he did that, he was like 15. Like, yeah, yeah. The, like the girl young. that he was dating was black yeah. and broke up with him. Yeah, so yeah. it wasn't like he was necessarily racist to begin with. He more so just rapping out of anger. Just using, I think, the word out of anger. But either way, man, you know, I was willing to let it go. You know what I mean? So I think he did the right thing. He apologized about using the word and all of that. And um, he moved on, you know, and that's what messed Benzino up because he thought that the whole industry was just going to say, oh, screw him and then. Nah. And nobody did it. New era, new he owned old, up to it. New, I mean? new era, man. Yeah. Uh, shoot, man. He, he's a white guy that can actually rap, you know. Right. That's what they were saying. I mean, and don't get me wrong, there were actually other white guys uh, outside of him and them that can right. actually rap. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but it's like this, you know, he made actual money. You know what I'm saying? Like, they made, you know, he, he was like the white hope for yeah. these people. So, it's like, yeah, we're going to kind of keep him in as long as possible. You yeah. Know? So, so that's, yeah. that's just what that is. But Eminem, man, you got to do a trap out with us, man. Come through, yo. <laughs> Come yo, through, man. You and Dre, then get Drake on that score. Then get over here. And then we get Gil Garfield, right. yo. <laughs> yo, y'all need to just come through. Come through, man. We need you, man. We need shake. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you got to call him by their favorite name just we, to suck up to him a little yeah, bit. Come we, on, Slim. Come on, Slim. Yeah, we got, man, Slim. Yeah, man. We got the Trice in. This is lavish Trice in. So we, we just paddle. We just, exactly. Yeah, we'll pick you up. paddle by itself. Yeah, we'll pick you up by PT, PTI. Yeah, Trice man. <laughs> Come through, man. But yeah, man. We, we going to do some big things with this podcast. Yep, I'm telling y'all, man. man. So y'all keep waiting because we're going to keep doing interviews and keep getting people on the show. Um, and, and we're going to make this a big thing. So we just glad to do it. Yeah, we talk about this hip hop culture. You know, we're going we gonna to do some more. You know, next time we got to get uh, more into the culture and the elements and all of that, man. Because uh, we, we don't want nobody to ever forget about the elements of hip hop. You know what I mean? All of that. The, the graffiti art, the break dancing, DJing, MCing, all of that, man. You know what I mean? So everything. We're going to do that for y'all. And um, I guess we're going to go ahead and sign off, man, you know, yeah. because uh, we gave y'all all we have for this week. Yep. And, you know, y'all keep sharing with us what y'all hear on y'all Ear to the Streets, and we'll talk about it on the podcast. So. Save me a burger if y'all grilling out today. <laughs> I don't care how nasty it is. Yeah. Save me a burger. <laughs> Yeah, man. You know. Stay home. Yeah. Throw me a piece of chicken up there on the grill for me, too. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to get too full. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, for Try a Hip Hop Podcast, my name is Kurt Dog. And I'm Howie. And we're going to talk to y'all next time. Hey. Hey.